Hello again, this is Eric, AC9BX, and in this video I'm installing SDR Sharp, a 32-bit Windows program on Linux. I'm using Wine version 7, which allows 32 and 64-bit programs to coexist on 64-bit Linux. This was previously pretty difficult. Uh, SDR Sharp is a 32-bit Windows program. I'm using my RTL SDR blog dongle and I'm running Zubuntu Linux 21.10 as a virtual machine on Windows 10. This will work on other Debian and Ubuntu based distros and many others. We'll need to install the appropriate Wine version for the system. To do that, you add the repository. I like to use Synaptic Package Manager. We see the latest stable branch is 3 and in the distribution is version 5. If we go to settings, repositories, and other software, I have an additional repository for the Vivaldi web browser. You can add repositories here if you like. I'm going to do this with the shell. Since I'm adding a 32-bit program, I'll add the i386 architecture with dpackage, a tool for installing Debian packages. Then I'll download the repository key following the instructions at the Wine website. This is to secure our data as we download Wine. Once the key is downloaded, I'll add the key to apt. You may see a warning about apt key being deprecated. It's only a warning and you should see an OK message that it completed. Then add the repository. I'm just going to copy and paste the command from the website. Be sure to select the correct one for your system. In my case, Ubuntu 21.10. Then update apt. This adds or removes repositories so it can find the software we're looking for. And if I go back to Synaptic, we can see the repository has been added. I'll now install Wine with the Install Recommends option, which will cause it to also install other elements we need. SDR Sharp is built on .NET, so Wine will use Mono, a Linux implementation of .NET. Let's fast forward. Now that it's finished installing, I'll start by bringing up Wine Config, which will create the required Windows folders. And it will ask to install Mono to run .NET programs. I'll say Install and let that run. When it's done, the Wine configuration appears. I'm going to change to Windows 10 just for the sake of it. I'll be using an existing working setup copied from my Windows machine, but you could start fresh. In my Downloads folder is the copy of SDR Sharp. I'm going to paste that into the Windows layer. In the Home directory, you'll likely have to select Show Hidden Files, then find the .wine folder, Drive C, and I'll place this in Program Files x86. Then inside the SDR Sharp folder, I find the main executable program, right click, and use the menu to choose Open with Wine. There's the AirSpy logo, and SDR Sharp starts up. Unfortunately, SDR Sharp won't directly talk with the RTL SDR on Linux. Over on Windows is a USB dongle, and a TCP server is running. So we have to set the source to RTL-TCP. With the source selected, choose Settings. I'm putting in the IP address of the Windows RTL server. Click Start. And there you have it. There's no audio from the virtual machine in this case because I'm using Windows Hyper-V and it doesn't directly support audio. Until next time, 7.3.